welcome back. And we are getting ready to move into our second segment for today. And this is perfect for prom weekend, but it's perfect for all the time because everybody wants a great photo on social media. So we've asked photographer Richard Holder to come in and uh, share some tips. Good morning. Good morning. And Good morning. thank you for being here. Good morning. That's yours. Now, uh, Richard, of course, uh, you know, I think everybody knows you and your photos, but let's just take a step back and find mm -hmm. out just how long you've been doing this and uh, how you got into it, what you've learned. Oh, okay. Um, well, photography specifically, I did my first course in 1991 wow. at university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was fresh, mm -hmm. fresh man. I put the real fresh and fresh man back there. Mm. And um, it was in Texas. Um, I, I took my first picture. It wasn't that great. But it was okay, it was more a technical exercise at that point in time. Mm -hmm. um, I consider myself an artist more than a photographer, believe it or not. Yeah. One of these days I'll prove that point. But um, as of now, I know people think of me as a photographer. I still think of myself as an artist more than a photographer because I've been doing um, art and visual creations mm -hmm. from when I was about five years old. And I was having discussions about art at the time with superheroes because I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And it got into you know, different uh -huh. topics like um, you know, actual art history, uh, different contemporary artists, photographers, painters. Yeah. It's a, it's a, and then you know, the Belizean, the local artists as well is also a concern of mine. I know yeah. I answered that question you in a broad way. But well, I was going to pin you down a bit. So you took your first class in 1991 mm -hmm. and then uh, you came back to Belize and obviously it wasn't this, I, I, I don't know, you tell, tell me, me, what no, was like the landscape about. like? coming back and offering professional photography? Ex excellent question. Um, and it's another good answer for that because something I, I've thought about. I came back <clears throat> with a fashion photography background. I don't want to get too much into my personal life, but I came back uh, not wanting to come back to Belize at that time. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of a situation where um, some, some paperwork stuff never am um, coming in time. Mm -hmm. Long story. But I, didn't, I was kind of thrown back here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you came and I, into and I, I was doing fashion. I was I was about I was assisting photographers for Playboy, mm -hmm. and JC Penny. Um, I really was on my way to doing that kind of That's work. It's a very broad spectrum. It was yeah. absolutely yeah. different from what was going on here because yeah. when I came back to Belize, um, I remember like one of the things that struck me is I found that maybe fashion. I did my first exhibit was a nude exhibit. Mm -hmm. It I was remember. a black and white show called Nude. In, uh, exhibition without inhibition. Which was scandalous to the, to, the, to, the, to the community at the time. Uh, it was, yeah. you know, because it got denied at Image Factory. I, I wasn't able to exhibit it there, but yeah. somebody, namely Takrona, who I'll be grateful to forever, um, gave me the chance. Mm -hmm. to Long story. But, yeah. you know, it was, a, it was a good move, you know, mm -hmm. because that, cre in a sense, that was like the foundation for things like Belikin. Mm -hmm. Because they saw perhaps somebody mature could come in and, and shoot women. Mm -hmm. And you know, with, with clothes on, but you know, mm -hmm. scantily clad, I guess. Um, so you came back. You know, when I when I think back on professional photos in my childhood, most of, of the things I, I saw was more the glamour photos. Uh, I think Suzanne Singh at the time was doing the glamour shots. Mm -hmm. um, and then by the time uh, you had started, I think people started to get more into having professional photos done. How did you? You had your first exhibit, and then how did you get more mainstream, get people to understand that it's good to have your photo taken, or nice to have your photo taken by a professional photographer? Good. That was an uphill battle because, um, first of all, a lot of people were under the impression when I came that photos shouldn't cost anything. And then I remember having- And those are the days of film. Yeah, and those <laughs> are when it was very, even more expensive, good point. Um, so, you know, people are like, oh, why, why were you paying for, if you just kind of did this, Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they thought. Like you just, you just press a button. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal? Well, um, you know, it, it was a, it was indeed a process for me. Com uh, going into a commercial um, avenue, it wasn't one ambition of mine. I didn't know how long I was going to stay in Belize. I ended up staying all this time now, but um, I, I wanted to be an artist. That's really what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So the art shows were me moving on in my career, and somehow had a great residual effect because people said, "Oh well." He's diverse. He could shoot women. He could shoot, um, you know, street subjects. He, he's, it's interesting to look at what he's doing. So, and then that ended up marketing me without me wanting to be marketed. And when I saw that, you know, oh, something's happening here, then I kind of just went with the flow, mm -hmm. and you know, got professional, so to speak. Would you say that you're content with where you are now as a as a photographer and as an artist? 
A deep question. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Content? No, I'm never satisfied. Okay. Um, I don't think satisfaction or a great destination to be at um, if you're an artist. Mm -hmm. That when you feel satisfied, you had, feel like you accomplished everything and, and then you have no space to grow. Yeah. I feel far from satisfied in many, on many levels. Belize is not a country you're easily satisfied either. Mm -hmm. There's lots of things uh, you, you desire. You know, lots of trails to lots place. Of, yeah. Lots of growth <laughs> left to be had, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I'm not satisfied. Mm -hmm. and, um, but at the same time, because bringing back to something commercial, mm -hmm. um, it's not my priority either to be um, a commercial photographer. Okay. So I don't, I'm not satisfied by that work in a sense, you know but what I mean? You have established your yeah. name yes, and your photographs, uh, I think, as a person who uh, captures moments of all kinds from, yeah. and this is the, in, uh, you know, we were talking about a bit about the growth, you know, mm -hmm. now people schedule prom photo shoots. Yeah, uh, this course. is not something I, I think was, was very common and, and people yeah. have photo shoots for pretty much everything now. Yeah. Um, so that's part of what we're here for to, mm -hmm. to talk a bit about how you can give non photographers and non models the best tips to get the best mm -hmm. photos. Well, right? first of all, how uh, easy is this process? Because I'm sure people ask you all the time. Well, I'm not usually out and about all the time. People don't ask me that all the time. No? <laughs> well, there's Facebook. I'm people ask, ask questions on Facebook yeah, all, the it all the time. All the time. <laughs> uh -huh. um, well, um, let me see. I'm booked out, first of all, for prom, so yeah. I can't even budge. And you're right, people do schedule photos for everything. Mm -hmm. So what I could do for you guys who are, even my clients, mm -hmm. after I finish their photo mm -hmm. sessions, what do you do beyond that with photos, Yeah. right? On your prom night. Well, um, you should be cognizant of a couple do's and don'ts. Okay. Um, now everybody have out their notepad now, so, so <laughs> give us those, those tips. Well, in all truth, not get too serious about it either. <laughs> because if you do, you'll miss the fun. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, even though I'm aware of all these technical things and whatever, I won't even go into all of that. But mm -hmm. it, for me, when I'm shooting personally, I don't get boggled by those, uh, weighed down by those things. You know, they're not, they'll confuse me. What I do is I just kind of like, um, it's like you, you have game, you just kind of play it out. You have mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. And you hopefully, you've done it enough times that those things become instinctive. That's, that's for me, though, okay? Mm -hmm. For everybody else, um, like I said, paramount, make sure you're having fun. Don't get too serious. But a rehearsal is good. Um, you're gonna try on your prom dress, your prom suit. You're gonna be in front of a mirror. Plus, this is a digital age where lots of people are, have already taken thousands of pictures of themselves yeah. with various devices, the phones, the cameras, everything's so portable and digital now. You've seen yourself more than I could imagine I would have ever seen myself back in the day because really on my prom night, there was just one guy with a camera and that was the official photographer. Yeah, the yeah. ones with the backdrops in the prom <laughs> itself. That, was, that was your prom photo. That was it, you know, yeah. and, and you basically had to, he had like an e script that he would yeah. go through, but we didn't have any way to capture <laughs> the night. We didn't have any, have any way to capture candid images with our friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or our date or ourselves. And, and now you can do that. Um, so in a sense, imagine that the camera is a mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, that's what it is. And mm -hmm. you can see, again, like you can see your image before you click it when you're doing selfies and those kinds of things. Well, the best rehearsal is truly in the mirror itself. Mm -hmm. When you're trying on your clothes, mm -hmm. find the angles of your face that you like and work it because it will give you the same result. Seriously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been in a situation because I shoot pictures so much and sometimes I, somebody shoots a picture on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh God, what do I do? You know, because, um, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. And it's, it's sometimes it's just little things at home, you know, like a party mm -hmm. with, my, with my kids mm -hmm. and um, somebody will take a picture. And I, I'm posing at my kids you know, and I'm like, okay, uh, what do I do, you know? Remember um, your angles. Yeah, and what I found from those results is that anytime I try to fake the smile, psh, I hate it, mm -hmm. right? I hate it too. I could, you know, I have to put myself in your shoes to answer this question mm -hmm. properly because I'm usually on this side. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I hear so about. So practice your smile. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Practice your smile and practice the angle of your smile. Practi angle of your smile. What's the difference yeah. with angles of your smile? Angle, okay. You have to think of yourself as one of those uh, action figures, you know. Mm -hmm. You're pliable. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're not stiff, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you can have angles. And of course, make sure your posture is good, first of all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is, a, that is a killer because if you're 
you know, mm -hmm. I kind of work. Slouch down. Matter of fact, let me fix mine, right? Now. Yeah. You see my full mm -hmm. potential right here? Mm -hmm. um, the thing about so, that is that mm -hmm. actually with a camera versus reality, when you uh, have proposure, yeah, okay, maybe lots of us walk around with all these slouch, right? Mm -hmm. But when that time comes to click the picture, it only, it's only a couple seconds. So yep. do that favor to yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Increase it much, and just blow some air in your back, and you just go up. Keep your neck straight. Try not to do this thing where you put your chin down and start squish up your face, mm -hmm. right? Oh, because that, that gives you the double chin. Yeah, you know, all of uh, us. Nobody chin. loves loves that look. No, no, no. Yeah. That's a no-no for yeah. everybody, yeah. including men. So um, keep your chin up. That's the best thing you do. Mm -hmm. If you want to dip your head down, because you want to give them the lion in the cage look with the big eyes, mm -hmm. then you bring your head down, your eyes get bigger, and that's kind of attractive, right? Mm -hmm. Just make sure okay. you put on least space. Like okay. this, where your shoulders could go down a little bit, and you bring your head up and bring it back down. And that way, I eliminate the, the chin because you're kind of bringing up your neck mm -hmm. before you do that. So head do that again. Me. What do you do? <laughs> you <laughs> put on a step, well, step forward. If okay. you're not even shooting your foot, but oh, whatever you do with your lower body affects your upper body as well. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. So don't be going to try pose up that and look totally weird. Try to make your lower body, I, I call it, we call it contraposto in um, mm -hmm. art history. It was a thing that they did a lot, a lot of times with sculptures where mm -hmm. one, you're leaning your, your weight on one leg and the next leg just goes. So for Usually guys especially, in the back. yeah, it's much better than being like this. They look kind of dorky or military. Yeah. yeah. Either one. And yeah. don't keep your hands straight. Yeah. That's yeah. the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, I hope this I'm camera not to the front, please. Okay, yeah. sorry. I hope yeah. I'm not. So there we go. Don't do that. Right? Yeah. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. um, Make sure you bend the arms instead. That is yeah. much better to put some yeah. flow in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I really, and also, um, well, I get too serious. Let's just, no. just leave it at that. The posing <laughs> is important. That's yeah. it. So yeah. I, love, I love the tips you're giving for, uh, so far. So first of all, good posture. Mm -hmm. Second Definitely. of all, don't drop your don't chin. Don't drop your chin. Right? Um, don't drop your chin, no. Um, and uh, practice in, in the mirror what kind of smile you're going to do. Yeah. So like, I, I'm famous for a really big smile and then my eyes disappear. Yeah. But um. what though, you know that, that for you, yeah. you, let me do it right now to you. <laughs> I can't help that how I smile. No, like, but check this yeah. out. They got a solution for I you. Again, it's what eyes. I spoke about just yeah. now. If you go forward, mm -hmm. do it. Like you want to check something by your shoes. Come forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pick your eyes up. And now smile. You see the eyes still <laughs> open. You saw that? <laughs> your eyes were wide open. Yeah. Not yeah. Okay. So okay. I, I have to remember not to lean forward too much. But you know, <laughs> the thing is that, yeah, don't, if you do it in a subtle way, um, yeah. it, it won't look like anything. Just like it's time. So you just have to learn how to tweak your body, as I call it. Yeah. And then know which angle works best for yeah. you. Well, you know, if, you're, if you have a little situation like a pimple or something, then don't show that side of your face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. However, there's a lot, of, um, a lot of these filters now on, on, on um, social media, yeah. like Instagram, and, the, and you can actually, um, you know, Snapchat, mm -hmm. what is there? Yeah. All kinds I, of different okay. things. All the stuff, Everything. All the things. That you could okay. basically clean up your look to, so, you know, and, and I recommend you use them. Okay. Because it just enhances the image, basically. Don't mm -hmm. feel like you're a cheat. Do it. Have fun. So we did the angles, the standing, uh, not straight, one leg apart. Yeah, loosen up. Leave your weight on one leg. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you could, I mean, if you're sitting, you know. Um, wait, and then you do your, your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't, don't keep it straight. Not I think straight that's down. That's a no-no, but you know, try Everybody things. Everybody does that one. People do that. You could, you could the, the thing is body arrangement after yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so if you're, you could just cross your hands. You could cross your legs. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a sense of like, sorry. Ooh, yeah, la -la. that's all right. Uh, mm -hmm. Body arrangement, I call it. Uh -huh. So, um, you, you know, you just organize yourself mm -hmm. instead of having it chaotic. You just, yeah. ha and you know what the truth is? At the end of the day, I find that if you are, if you feel comfortable, it shows. It yeah. shows. Yeah, so if you definitely. feel like your pose is awkward, honestly, mm -hmm. it probably is. If you feel like, ah, it's not feel too good, yeah. just, just change it. Even if, if it you have. Uh, forced. Totally. Yeah. And if, even if you're being shot by a professional, yeah. you say, hey, you know, I don't feel too good with this, then, okay, just mm -hmm. do yeah. a different thing. I, I think when you're happy in a photo, you yeah. always like the photo. It like shows. when you're genuinely happy in a photo. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Genuinely happy? Yeah, mm -hmm. in a photo. So um, there was another question I was going to ask you. Sitting photos. Mm -hmm. This is also a, a funny one, right? Let's look at you. You're a model already. You're doing it great. You probably watch all them models and... No, you just picked it up. No. Your head tilting to the side, stay like that. Because mm -hmm. I would tell you to do that exact same thing you're doing if I was shooting your portrait right now. Mm -hmm. um, you, 
your hands are organized. Mm -hmm. You have the ring on a ring on showing on top. That's good. Never hide your jewelry. Mm -hmm. Show it. The legs are crossed. Again, it's neat. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're, you're arranged in a way, and I think that is excellent how you are. Okay. For guys, we, not, we won't do all of that. You won't cross your legs, first of all. Well, if we do, we could cross it at the bottom. Yeah. You know, but for us, it's important to look relaxed. It's actually good for men to slouch, right? It's okay for men to kind of like lean on one side or the yeah. next. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think that's, that's what our image etiquette for men and women is a little different in that mm -hmm. sense. Women tend to, they're the beautiful element in the image. And in a sense, they probably have more pressure mentally thinking about all these things. And, you know, the dress and the guys get to be more, um, I guess the definition of masculine is not as... Uh, Concerned yeah. about your look. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, just to be more relaxed and make sure you got a good haircut. Yeah. <laughs> so what <laughs> are some, some of the technical tips? Because I know that posing, people tend to just do what feels comfortable. Yeah. And for me, one of the technical things I use when I'm taking photos, especially at night, is just find the light because the light is going to do a lot for you. So what are some of the techniques? So this is the picture taking now. Yeah, the actual right? taking. So when you're pictures. taking the photo, what do you do? Very good. Um, good again. You guys were prepared for this now. Because I wasn't. <laughs> um, yeah, good point. Lighting is very important. Yeah. Um, what you have to do, okay, if you're not using a flash, yeah. try to avoid shadows. Try to avoid those kind of weird shadows like, nah, this mm -hmm. side of the face dark yeah. and, right? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, like in this case, we don't have to worry about lighting is everywhere and it's yeah. right in the perfect spot. But yeah, if you're in a room and the light source is coming from this way, I would say turn to the light source. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try to get that nice lighting on you. Ew. If not, your camera usually has a, a flash setting, mm -hmm. right? So, and, and that's pretty easy to find. Okay. Um, I would do, uh, I would put it on auto, auto flash. Mm -hmm. If for some reason that's not working out, I'm sorry, oh, you just, sorry, you, you just override with the flash. They have a, mm -hmm. a flash that basically it will just flash. You won't judge it because there's two settings of flash, I believe. Well, there's the one automatic? automatic where the, the camera decides if it's necessary. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, on. On the con yeah, constant flash where it just stays mm -hmm. and, you, and everything you shoot will be illuminated by the flash. Mm -hmm. Okay, so find the light. I like that one. Yeah, now, absolutely. If and you're avoid shadows, sorry. And avoid Important. shadows. Avoid those shadows where mm -hmm. it's, it goes hand in hand, of course, mm -hmm. but you know, shadows can really mess up on nice yeah. pose, yeah. you yeah. know. Angle from the photographer side now. So one of the classic things we see with photographers is they're always squat down, <laughs> looking yeah. up. Or if they have their phones, they have it this way instead of that way. Yeah, yeah. They they're high up, get down low. Earth. What are yeah. you supposed to do? Yeah. Um, so never take straight. Is that it? No, don't think about it too much, right? Because you lose <laughs> the chance for finding Just something new. I yeah. think the reason why, well, if, when you're shooting a picture as a But you're always squatting down when you're taking yeah, photos. Yeah, because you're trying to find um, something new. You're trying to, f you're not gonna just come in and shoot something straight like this and yeah. be stationary. I personally don't like tripods very much mm -hmm. because they kind of limit you, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but um, going down and up is okay. I think what's important for the photographer is to basically there's three things before it becomes overwhelmed with all of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to go up and don't worry about anybody said, just don't yeah. mess up a suit if you're in the prom now. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna lie down on the ground like I do yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but um, try to, you know, perhaps get close, mm -hmm. zoom back. And of course, make sure you get a picture with the entire outfit. Okay. That's important. Just like the modeling of the image, people really want to remember the dress, mm -hmm. not just their face and yeah. their date. They want to see everything. Show yes. the back of the dress, mm -hmm. the front, mm -hmm. show it. Mm -hmm. You know, let them, yeah. let them remember the moment. So, and then of course, yeah, let's not forget this. The background, <laughs> classic, yeah. right? No, put it. Look Have up we seen enough photos on the internet of people failing to check their background? Yeah, that's a big <laughs> one. You really got to be aware of it. Um, yeah. for, for you guys, basically what you want to avoid are like anything uh, look great, like uh, garbage. Your dirty clothes. Dirt on the ground, <laughs> dirty clothes if you're in the house. <laughs> A shabby wall. Yeah. You know, if, if, if you have a shabby wall or an open uh, space, I would rather shoot in the open space. Yeah. And throw the background out of focus instead. Yeah. yeah. You know? So, so there's no tips about like seated oh. photos you usually take from higher or. Um, no, again, you I want think, people I think to look flat. I mean, you want the picture to look flattering on them. Yeah, it's, I think, you, well, what do you mean with the photographer? Yeah, if I'm taking the photo of my niece or nephew or of somebody going to prom and I I'm think putting them in different positions. Basically, it goes back to the same answer where the person, or the photographer, if they don't see the person doing it, mm -hmm. I do a little body arrangement. Keep good posture, 
uh, uh, tell them, you know, for women, it's always yeah. nice that they tilt their head a little bit. It's beckoning, it's nice, mm -hmm. it's friendly, inviting, it looks mm -hmm. good. Um, uh, definitely remember to have fun, though. that's the important thing, yep. you know, because when you take it too seriously, mm -hmm. it totally shows. Yeah. Okay. You know? So I'm, have fun in the moment. Oh, and fun. that's such a cute and couple's smile. pose there, yeah. too. Okay. And try out uh, different angles. Don't just. You guys got that up in there? These are from you. These are from No. That's a nice photo, too. But that's not prom. So, <laughs> so it's probably from Facebook. Okay, so yeah, it was on Facebook. Yeah, I you have some prom pics. couples together too, and uh, when you're posing with somebody else, Good. does that change how you compose like the photo? Fine. Yeah, um, with couples, um, you know, it might be their first big date officially in a sense, you know. So um, some some couples are actually dating. From my experience, I know that. Some are just going to the prom together and they're yeah. worried about what their parents say. So they're say. already awkward together. So it's a yeah. little bit uncomfortable, Too but I'm sure turtles. people who go to prom together at least like each other a little bit, you know, if they're not, you know, um, a couple. Mm -hmm. um, but a good thing to do in, in that case is to break the ice. As a photographer, it's good to break the ice um, and try to get them close and try to make them relax and smile. And that again, is like not taking the whole thing too seriously. You will be nervous, that's, not, that's normal. But it's like giving a speech, I guess. Maybe if you're the person taking the other to date, to the prom um, as a date, then um, you will be a tad bit nervous at first, but give yourself a little while. And of course, try to do some pictures that are fun, you know, let, let the, if, you're, if you don't want the guy to hug the girl, let the girl hug the guy. Mm -hmm. If she has, you know, let her go behind Pulling him and guy. hug him. Yeah, have fun <laughs> with it. You know, that's where the, the selfie thing comes in. It's, you know, yeah. it's almost like two different worlds. You have these personal photos and you have these professional photos. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the truth, I covet more of the per per personal images, the style, mm -hmm. because when people come and then they get all serious and expect all these like, you know, the lighting yeah. kind of like gets them in that mindset. Yeah. Uh, I would really- Deer in headlights. Yeah. yeah, but you know, the, the valid thing is that uh, those selfies, those are so important to have. And that same vibe, that same spirit, that same playfulness mm -hmm. is what would be great uh, for Translate. a photographer to yeah. see. Yeah. Because I'm telling you the truth, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'd be shooting something. I know you could imagine this scenario because it, it just makes sense. And I would I'd, I'd work with the model. And you put your leg like this, uh, arch your back a little bit more. Put this hand back, carry it up, carry it up. Keep it there, okay, tilt the head this way, blah, blah, blah. Where they get it. And as the picture done, she'll walk on set and take a selfie and, and <laughs> and it looked great. And it was natural. And yeah. it looked super great, you know, and that, that playfulness has to come into the images. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is important. So make sure you have fun. Make sure you smile for a couple of your images. Mm -hmm. That's important. Yeah. Don't okay. get too serious when you forget to smile. So tell me the number one don't that you see in photos that people take that you would just say, try not to do this. If for one night, try not to do this. Oh my gosh. One thing, you don't watch photos and say, don't do that. They're all valid to me, you know, because I, I look with them. Without the artistic view, the yeah. photography okay. view. What not to do. Huh. Yeah. Well, I think we already talked about what not to do, especially the background stuff to make anything yeah. coming out of your head. But as far as you contain within yourself and w uh, apart from the elements, what not to do. Um, that is a very difficult question, you know, just don't dig your nose. <laughs> um, please look ready for it. Wipe the coal out of your eye. Oh make sure gosh. your hair look good. Brush your teeth. Not make sure your toothpick it. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay. <laughs> I think that's valid. Make sure everything is in place yes. before you take the photo. We yes. can retouch certain things, but if you're just doing pictures yourself, just just always be um, aware of your appearance. That's mm -hmm. the best thing. For photos. Yeah. Right? Because you're the real deal, mm -hmm. and we can't okay. change anything after that. All right, Richard, well, we appreciate so much the tips that you have offered. We got tips for those who are posing and we got tips for those who are taking the photos. Thank you for coming in. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dog mom. That's the best I can do. Mm. I have it's, a valid. it's valid. <laughs> That's practice for the future. So we're going to go ahead now and take a break. And when we come back, we are going to be talking about celebrating Nurses Week after the break. Stay tuned.